That wind chill seven below and the temperature will be dropping. Everson Griffin is having a great season. Second in the NFC in sacks. His counterpart on the other side, Brian Robinson, will get a good test today against a young tackle. But Anthony Barr, the rookie linebacker, has been a stud all year. May or may not be hitting that rookie wall a little bit, Chris. We'll see as this game goes on. And Captain Munerlin, five years for the Panthers. One of the stars of the Vikings secondary on third down and eight. Munerlin lining up against Benjamin. Cam Newton looking around, and he's going to go down. Sharif Floyd with his fourth plus sack of the season. Darla Toule out with an anchor, uh, an injured ankle, I should say. Charles Johnson, who had some flu problems during the week of this practice, hoping to play for that uh, defense. Meanwhile, the Vikings have Mike Harris. On third and five. Bridgewater completes for the first down and knocked down right away the veteran Greg Jennings. Bridgewater to throw and completes. Inside the 30, it's Charles Johnson inside the 10 of Carolina. We know this team likes to run the ball in the red zone. He's been the benefactor of a lot of scores down here. Bridgewater rolls. Got wide open in the end zone. It's a touchdown, Vikings, Kyle Rudolph. Well, that short punt offered a short field for Minnesota for his young quarterback. See the tight end at the top of your screen, that drag route. That Carolina is completely confused and leaves him wide open. Here's Greg Olson on third and six. Cam Newton is on the move. If he gets a block, he can get a first down, and he does. Sliding up to the 38-yard line. Better punting position for Brad Norton, who had the 28-yard punt into the win last time that aided the Viking touchdown drive. Pressure coming, and it's blocked right at the 30-yard line. The block by Adam Thielen, and in for the touchdown, Vikings. The Vikings were trying to run a little twist inside there. Thielen comes right here, just unblocked because of the movement of the other two guys. He's straight into the ball. What a good play. Get up with the ball. He gets a little block from 54 there and stumbles in for a big, huge play on special team for the Vikings. Ball, Jonathan Stewart, the running back. Greg Olson in motion. And here's Stewart. Who has a block, and there goes Jonathan Stewart, and he's on the Vikings side of the field and out of bounds around the Minnesota 40-yard line. He gets the carry, he'll lose yardage. Brian Robinson. And here's Graham Goodell to get the Panthers on the board with a 30-yard attempt. And he slips it through. One catch so far. Brown targets to Benjamin for the first down catch, sliding inside the 45 of the Panthers. Brown stops. No, not for you. <laughs> it's blocked. Another blocked punt. Emerson Griffin has the football, and he's going to have a Viking touchdown. Two blocked punts, two touchdowns for Minnesota. Well, that was unexpected, especially if you're the Carolina Panthers. Minnesota left their defense on the field. That's not their punt return unit. They were in a safe punt defense, and Carolina just went to sleep. See, these are just the rush guys that are on the field on defense. And 54, Jasper, Jasper Brinkley comes in untouched again, just like Thielen did early in the game, and Everson Griffin Thanking him for another Vikings touchdown on special team. Four-man rush. He's got time. And Kelvin Benjamin, the rookie to midfield. And the 
Panthers inch a little bit closer. Second and five. Ball is knocked loose. It's laying on the ground, and Bridgewater alertly gets back to it. Vikings team for 19 to nine back down. We were looking up those stats earlier. Their mentality was right for this type of weather. Bridgewater for Charles Johnson, who's got a first down catch. Bridgewater open, completes. That is Greg Jennings, and he is in for the Viking touchdown. But only six points. Time for Cam Newton, and open is Greg Olson, who gets near midfield for a Carolina first down. The quarterback could bark the signals out. On third and four, Cam Newton throws, and that is almost intercepted by Xavier Rhodes. He had it. Cam Newton going for it all. That's Philly Brown. He has the catch, and he has a Carolina touchdown. That was a 14-yard run. Stewart will go down lose yardage in the arms of Harrison Smith with four wins along with Atlanta. Cam Newton. Not the low. Trying to get to Benjamin. Again, it was Rhodes. His upper body and his arm strength will probably improve because of it. To throw again. But he has room to run. Reaching, lunging, trying to get the first down. And it's five short. After reviewing the play, the ball was at the 17 and a half yard line when the runner went out of bounds. He reaches the line to gain. It will be first and 10. On third down and three, Bridgewater open and on target for a first down inside the 40 is Jarius Wright. No flag and Bridgewater goes down. What a sack by Luke Keekley today completed just three Jonathan Stewart has a first down and still fighting up to the 39 yard and Cam Newton is gonna go down eventually in the arms of Everson Griffin never officially down but a sack as the whistle blows with his grip but I've been, it's been nice watching him throw the ball around today. On second and two, Ben Tate has a first down. Ben Tate brought down at the 24 yard Loco, Loco, Loco. Everybody. Good hot. Bridgewater is going to go down. Luke Keekley in the sack of the last series. His first field goal try today. Ups it through. It's a, it's a tight game. <laughs> Pressure on Cam Newton. He goes down. It's Griffin again. And they've had to rely on him throwing the football. And he asked the guys around, and they still like the way Cam plays, the way he prepares. And he talk interceptions and serves one up to Josh Robinson there. He floated that one. And it's his first turnover. Of the day. Final score, Vikings win it 31-13 over the Panthers here in Minneapolis. More in a moment here on the NFL on Fox.